Inside Science. What are your political beliefs? And did you know they're affecting your behaviour? I take language as an example. Republicans and Democrats tend to use different kinds of words. Some dedicated researchers went through 923,758 tweets to figure that out, and they found that, amongst other things, Republicans uh, reference religion more, Democrats swear more, and Democrats use more uniqueness pronouns, whereas Republicans use more group identity pronouns. But it would be crazy to think that our complex, highly personal political ideologies could be down to some of our most basic shared instincts, right? That was disgusting. I know, I had to edit it into the video. But how did you respond to that? Some of us find it more disgusting than others. And you can measure that by measuring how clammy your skin gets, literally whether you break into a cold sweat. The more sweaty you were, the more disgusted you were. The more disgusted you were, the more conservative you probably are. In fact, one study claims to be able to tell your political ideology just through your MRI brain response to one of those disgusting images. Although you may not actually be consciously aware of how your brain is responding. The more conservative we are, the more we respond to negative emotional stimuli and in some cases, to just emotional stimuli in general. But above all, conservatives respond more to threat. <coughs> so, if we're thinking differently, does that mean our brains are different too? Amazingly, there is some evidence to suggest that, that right-wingers and left-wingers have different sized brain regions. The conservatives tend to have larger right-hand side amygdalas than liberals. But the amygdala isn't there to process political information. The amygdala's job is to trigger fear and to process fearful memories. And in fact, even though conservatives have a larger right-hand side amygdala, it's only more active when they're processing, you guessed it, threats. So, what might be at the root of the liberal ideology? Well, there is less work on this, but it has been found that liberals tend to be better at changing their behaviour when the situation demands it. And the brain region responsible for that is correspondingly larger. This region is called the anterior cingulate cortex, but it's not just involved with behaviour change. It also represses emotion to aid rational cognition. But there is no evidence to suggest that all liberals are logic-driven Mr. Spock's compared to the firebrand Dr. McCoy's of the conservative world, no matter how neat a hypothesis that would seem. Really, we're only just starting to understand what causes our political beliefs. And this is just work from neuroscience. In psychology, our personalities and our moralities correlate with our political beliefs. And there's the fascinating prospect of the genetics of politics. You see, it's been repeatedly shown that people who share the same genes share the same political opinions. Although we don't know which genes are responsible or why. <laughs> and yes, it is super creepy to think that we inherit our ideology like our eye colour. But we should never forget that our experiences, our environments and our upbringings all have a huge effect on our political opinions, as well of course as our rational thought. But they're all modulating our inbuilt biological tendencies. I hope that neuroscience will tell us a lot about why we vote the way that we do. But we should always remember that just because our brains are predisposed a certain way, it doesn't control our vote. And in fact, understanding our predispositions gives us more power to change our behaviour if we want. For Inside Science, I'm Ali Jennings. Thanks for watching. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.